Okay, so let's try this again. Um, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do a live video composite thing. Uh, I'm going to delete all of the stuff I've done. Delete. I'm using the virtual, not virtual production. You go to the film and media thingy when you're starting a project. Um, virtual production template. That's the guy. Okay, so we're going to start from scratch. We're going to make sure you got your plugins enabled. Plugins, and then compose, composure, composure. Yeah, composure. Make sure that's enabled and restart if you have to. I'm assuming you've already got that far. So create new comp, empty comp shot. Don't care what the name is. Add layer element. Let's call that and leave it CG element one. Add layer element, media plate. Use that as media plate one. These things don't really matter. I mean, it's just they are in for some reason the composite. Um, so what we need is we want initially we want this to show us chroma key, right? So like the keyed background. Um, Let's get it set up with the CG element first, because that's the easiest one. So what we should do is we should go to here, composure, target camera actor. And there's only one in that scene. It's got to be a cinema, cinema camera, which luckily this one is. And that's going to render from our cinema camera's point of view. Weirdly enough, it selected that one anyway. So that's the background and we want to compose it ourselves over the top of it, right? So we want to have some kind of media source that shows us us and then we need to green screen it. So first things first, let's go to um, media, media player, create a video output texture. Let's call that live cam. So the media player is the thing that actually plays the media. In this case, it's going to um, read the input stream from the webcam. Well, webcam, the uh, cam link. So if you come in here, you drop this guy down, you choose your input. So you, if you've got black magic, you'll just have it on here. I should think uh, I'm going to choose my cam link. So that's got my stupid crappy old camcorder on it. And we're going to green screen this one out. One thing you got to be aware of, let's just save that is that this will basically go to sleep if you close it. So make sure you only minimize it um, and it will still do. It will still go to sleep. If you ever get it going to sleep on you, just go back and come back in here and restart it essentially. You know, choose that again. Oop. Choose that again. Yeah. <sighs> Epic, right? Okay, so we've got a media texture, right? So we're, we've got a player. Um, we can't drag those in there, you see? Um, what we need is the, the media source and media source is the actual texture. Um, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to key out this texture. So it's, it's still live, thankfully. Um, so what we want to do is we want to add a key color to this guy here. Now. One thing to be aware of is don't switch on this intermediate or otherwise you'll get a default texture showing up in here. I did that a couple of times already. Uh, right. So to key, key something out, we need to have a, a chroma key color, right? So we, we do that by adding, clicking on the plus button for the key colors and then clicking on the plus button for those. And we can just click the background, right? So let's just, do that for now. Uh, and if you want to, you can uh, just improve the vignette and all that kind of stuff in these parameters here. So I'll let you play around with that. So now we've got a, a chroma, but obviously it's not showing the background underneath it. And the question is, why is that? Well, it's because none of these things do any of the compositing. What's actually going to do the compositing is a property of this guy here. And that's the, um, the transform pass for this composite. So the transform pass, transform passes are basically 
your actual compositing actions. So if we add one here, this is going to be the chroma like blending and what it needs is a material. So actually what's happening is that we're going to take, create a material that does the blending of these two elements. So simply, um, if we come here, materials and then create a new material and I'll call it, um, I don't know, live blend. See, apologies if my machine starts bonging, it's going a bit weird right now. There you go. Uh, so, materials, there's a few things to do. One is set it to post process, another one is find the output alpha somewhere in here. We'll just type in alpha and search for it. Must do output alpha. That's really the only other thing we need to do. Now, um, we need two inputs, right? Which is our two textures, the CG plate and the uh, green screen. So we need text um, your sampler, texture sampler parameter 2D. Yeah, and this one's going to be foreground. I can spell it. Sorry, my keyboard's a mile away in right now. Foreground and just tried to control C and control V. It didn't work because I am an idiot. And that's background. Yeah, so basically two texture inputs. And then we drag off this guy and do an over. So over is basically the compositing action. So this is going to be over the top of that. And then we just drag those RGBA into his missive, alpha into opacity, apply, save. So our live cam's still up and running, live blends now there. So all we need to do is we need to drag that into our um, material slot, but you see that the comp's still not working and that's because we haven't set the inputs properly yet. So uh, for the background, obviously the CG element, for the foreground, obviously our media plate, and there we go. So basically that's the outputting of a chroma keyed uh, texture um, stream through this live cam, uh, this media player into a media texture and blended using this material in the composite over the top of the CG element. The CG element is basically just whatever's rendered from this cine camera actor. Um, one thing to note, if we just expand it a little bit, is that this scene here that's being rendered is actually the editor scene. So you can actually modify it. It's like a, um, it's in the editor's world. So when you run an un Unreal Engine project, if you did play up here, that would create another world. And this isn't the one that's being rendered in the composite. Now, we'll, obviously that's something that you probably want to be able to do. So that's something for you to have a look at, but just get this working first. Uh, obviously you can improve the key and I haven't really bothered with any of that yet, but um, there you go. Quick one, but hopefully you can follow along with it. If you need any help, just drop me a message on Facebook or whatever. And I'll give you a hand. I hope you, uh, hope you find it useful. I'll speak to you later.